first. So my turf, I'm out of line. I put in work, I draw the line and cross it first. I need the time, I need the Welcome to the Movie Summary Channel. If you like the featured video, please watch it in the theaters near you, or buy or rent the original movie from the links provided in the description. Like and share the video as it will help us out, and comment on what movies you like to be featured next. Movie Summary does not condone piracy and follows and complies with the fair use law. Now, let's watch the featured video. Simply sit tight, relax, and enjoy the video. Be aware that there is heavy spoilers ahead. You want to crash a plane? Well, how big a plane? Last time it was no tennis. The film opens at an opera house in Kiev. Just as the performance is about to commence, Ukrainian gunmen storm the place, shooting the conductor and terrorizing the orchestra and patrons. Outside the building, an undercover SWAT team prepares to head in. They gas the place to put the patrons and performers to sleep as they head in to rescue a compromised spy and recover an unknown artifact. A man known only as the protagonist identifies the spy with the phrase, We live in a twilight world, to which the man replies, and there are no friends at dusk. After the spy is recovered, the team handles the gunman's bombs. The protagonist goes down to recover the bombs and sees a bullet hole. An unknown agent with a red tag on his bag steps in and appears to take the bullet as it flies backwards from where it was shot. The agents then throw the bombs into the nosebleeds where there are no patrons as it explodes. As the agents are getting away, the protagonist is captured. The man wakes up between two train tracks as his captors have him and another agent tied up, attempting to torture them for information. The protagonist tries to take a cyanide pill, but one of the captors takes it from him. The other agent on the ground takes his out, and the protagonist jumps for it and takes it, seemingly dying. He later awakens in a hospital, as this was just a test, meaning that the pill was fake, but all his colleagues are dead. His boss Victor recruits him for a new mission under an organization called Tenet, as this new job concerns the fate of the world. The protagonist is taken to meet a woman named Laura, who is set to show him how things pertaining to the mission work out. She gives him a gun with an empty magazine and has him aim it at a rock. The bullet in the rock flies back into the gun. Laura explains that the entropy of the bullets is inverted, which means they pass backwards through time. Through more tests, the protagonist sees that he can catch or move the inverted bullets in the right position. The people in charge have gathered more inverted items, and the plan is to locate the source of the inverted bullets before the creators can use their technology to pass things like nuclear weapons through inversion. The protagonist tracks the bullets to a man named Sanjay Singh. He calls Victor to ask for assistance in infiltrating Sanjay's home. The protagonist is met by a local man named Neil, who is sent to help. The two use bungee cords later that night to make it up into Sanjay's building, but as they try to interrogate him, they find that the one to speak to is Sanjay's wife, Priya, who works for Tenet. She speaks to the protagonist and says the bullets come from a Russian oligarch named Andrei Sayer, who can apparently communicate with the future. Priya tells the protagonist to get close to Andrei and find out how he produces the inverted bullets. The protagonist meets with Sir Michael Crosby in a restaurant. Crosby tells him about how Andrei grew up in a Soviet secret city that endured a major accident and it was later used for underground testing. Andre came out from there and built a fortune before staying in England and marrying a woman named Catherine Barton, with whom he is now estranged. Crosby suggests he get close to Andre through Cat, and he gives the protagonist a fake Goya painting that is one of two, the other one having been bought by Andre. 
After observing Kat with her son Max, the protagonist meets her and learns that Andre is blackmailing her by threatening to expose her part in the fraud with the painting. The last time they were happy was on his yacht in Vietnam, but he offered her a chance to leave, on the condition that she never see Max again. Kat reacted in rage and left with Max, and as she got away, she observed a woman diving off the yacht. Moments later, some of Andre's henchmen arrived to escort Kat out. A few stay in the kitchen as the protagonist tries to follow her, and he fights them off. Kat even sees this as one henchman falls through the door before she is driven away. Kat calls the protagonist back and tries to have him steal the painting back. He works with Neil and a fixer named Mehir to break into Andre's storage facility at Oslo Airport. After Neil gathers into on the place, he determines that the security is going to be very tight, so he plans to crash a plane into the hangar as a distraction. Together with a crew, the team enacts their plan as the protagonist and Neil enter the facility under professional guises. The cargo jet containing a ton of gold bars crashes, and the two head onto a room where they find a room separated between a glass window with a machine on both ends. The window has bullet holes that the protagonist says come from an event that hasn't happened yet. The machine opens, and two identical men, antagonists, emerge. The one on Neil's side runs past him, but the other one, who is inverted, appears to struggle with the protagonist. The antagonist reaches for an inverted gun, which catch the bullets from the holes. Neil returns after unmasking the other antagonist, but he stops the protagonist from killing the other man, just as he appears to fly out the loading door. They then position themselves safely before a recovery team enters the facility. The protagonist meets with Pri on a boat, where he learns that the machine is called a turnstile, which is what inverts time and was made in the future. She also reminds him not to kill Andre before they know what connection he has with the future. Kat is told that the painting was destroyed, and she later sets up a meeting with Andre. The protagonist joins them, and others for a dinner, where Andre appears to try and threaten the protagonist over his supposed involvement with Kat, since he has seen them together. However, the protagonist manages to get Andre to set up a boating trip for the next morning to discuss the opera. Before Kat and Andre head to meet the protagonist, he tells her that Instinct told him to move the painting before the crash. They meet with him and have a brief discussion before Kat tries to drown Andre by loosening his harness. The protagonist then turns the boat around to rescue Andre. Kat chastises him for it, as well as for lying to him about the painting. Andre then asks to meet with the protagonist for repayment, and he asks not only for him to not retaliate against Kat, but also to help acquire a case of plutonium that Andre has his eyes on. Andre recounts digging plutonium out of his hometown and killing a co-worker to prevent anyone else from securing better opportunities. He goes to his room with Kat and threatens her, explicitly stating that if he cannot have her, nobody can. Andre then goes outside as a helicopter comes down, with a crate containing gold bars. The protagonist observes as Andre beats another man to death with a gold bar. He is spotted and grabbed by Andre's henchman, and he attempts to out the protagonist as a spy with the Twilight World phrase, but he doesn't budge. He then lets the protagonist go, and agrees to help with getting the plutonium from Talon. The protagonist reconvenes with Neil to enact the heist. Meanwhile, Kat and Andre have another heated confrontation over her attempt to kill him as she now has a gun aimed at him. He beats her and then takes her as a hostage. The protagonist and Neil follow a truck and have their team use other vehicles tie surround the truck, allowing the protagonist to make his way in and grab the plutonium case, only to see that the item is not plutonium, but a different artifact entirely. 
Andrews then drives up near them as he shows them he is aiming a gun at Cat's head. An inverted car that previously appeared to crash passes between them driving in reverse, and the protagonist appears to toss the case to Andre. He then tries to make his way to the other car as Andre switches cars so that he can save Cat. After the vehicles stop, Andre's men shoot at the protagonist and me. The protagonist is captured and brought to a separated room like the one at the Oslo facility. Andre has Cat while they are inverted, and he demands to know where the plutonium is, even going as far as to wound Cat in the abdomen with an inverted bullet. The protagonist tells him the plutonium is in the glove box of the inverted BMW. After Andre leaves, other tenant agents led by Neil and Agent Ives come in to kill his men. They get the protagonist and Cat to safety, but she is dying from the bullet wound. The protagonist becomes suspicious of Neil after learning he was always involved with Tenet, thinking he led Andre to know more than he lets on. He reveals he lied about the location of the artifact. The protagonist tries to save Cat by bringing her through the turnstile to take them through the previous week. He enters through the machine with a respiratory mask, inverted lungs won't support normal air and vice versa, and drives to the moment of the chase, where he ends up in the BMW that crashes. After Andre sees that what he wants isn't there, the car explodes, but the inversion causes the protagonist to almost freeze. After he is recovered, he and Neil go through with taking Cat through the turnstile to go to the week before to the Oslo facility. The protagonist enters, revealing himself as the antagonists. He fights his inverted self while Neil had seen that the person he was chasing was the protagonist. He then uninverts himself, and Cat is okay. The protagonist meets with Pri again, where he learns this time that the artifacts that Andre was looking for are meant to make up a device called an algorithm, which he may use to invert the entire world. Future humans are said to be using the algorithm to reverse the effects of global warming. Priya tells the protagonist that is not the only protagonist that is capable of saving the world, but he believes he is. When he suggests that they continue using Cat to get close to Andre and stop him from using the algorithm, Pre arranges for the two to meet on a ship. Cat tells the protagonist that Andre is secretly dying from pancreatic cancer, and his plan is to use the algorithm to kill himself at the right moment, inverting humanity and wiping them all out using the same if I can't view reasoning. She suspects that he will commit the act on the day they were on their yacht in Vietnam. The protagonist and Neil meet with Ives and his team as they head to the location of the dead drop where the algorithm is assembled and will be set off, which is in the secret city Andre came from. Ives instructs his team to go through a temporary pincer movement, which will see half of them moving normal and the other half moving inverted to get through the zone. Meanwhile, Cat inverts herself to go back to the day on the yacht to delay Andre from killing himself. As the tenant agents run through the zone, coming across numerous explosions, the protagonist heads into the drop zone with Neil's help, as well as a masked agent with a red tag similar to the agent at the Opera House, but they are prevented from reaching the algorithm because of a gate. He appears to take a gunshot from a henchman, but since he is inverted, he helps the protagonist make it through the gate to retrieve the algorithm. After the plan succeeds, Cat decides she cannot stand to watch Andre die happy thinking he won, so she drops sunscreen and water on the deck before shooting Andre in the chest. She then uses the greased up floor to push his body off the yacht, where he hits the railing on the way down. Cat then jumps from the yacht, revealing that her past self witnessed her own self jumping. She goes to meet with Mahir. The protagonist, Neil, and Ives disassemble the algorithm, and Ives orders the two to stay hidden or he will have to kill them. As Neil and Ives walk away, the protagonist notices the red tag in Neil's bag, meaning he was the one who got shot near the gate and all the way back to the Opera House mission. 
He bids the protagonist farewell, revealing that it was he all along who recruited Neil for Tenet in the future, and this is the end of a friendship that the protagonist hasn't encountered yet. In London, Priya and one of her gunmen watch Kat as she goes to pick up Max from school. Before they can move in on her, the protagonist kills the gunman and sits behind Priya in her car. He tells her that his will go on to be the founder of Tenet, and that they were both working for him all along. Since she is a loose end, the protagonist kills Priya. He then watches Kat leave with Max. Then the movie ends. Thank you for watching our featured video here in Movie Summary. I hope you have enjoyed watching our videos. Please like and share this video on your social media and subscribe to our channel to help us grow. Comment down below on what movies you like to be featured next and click the notification bell so that you will be notified every time we post new videos. Bye for now and see you in the next upload of our next videos. You want to crash a plane? Last time it went no tennis.